In today's Nordstrom haul, I'm sharing some summer staples for petite plus size or apple body shaped women. Hey everybody, I'm Kathy and I am petite. I'm five foot four, but I also have a big belly. And today I'm sharing some shorts and some pretty summer tops from Nordstrom that will help camouflage a big belly. The first outfit that I have for you is just a basic t-shirt with a pair of black shorts. The t-shirt that I'm wearing is from Caslon and it is their updated version for 2022. It is a short sleeve v-neck t-shirt. I'm wearing the size XXL in the shade Blue Palace. By the way, I'm going to link all of the items in the description box below with links for both the US and Canada and I will also put the size that I am wearing as well as if there's a particular shade. I'll put that all in the description box. Every year I usually buy a couple of these Caslon v-neck t-shirts shirts they're a staple in my wardrobe i do wish that caslon would make them though without the pocket on the chest if you have a big chest like me sometimes this pocket that's on the front can fall at a weird spot and it's not that flattering so i really wish they would just ditch the pocket and plain front v-neck t-shirt i think that would be perfect i own this in several colors it's flattering it's perfect for just wearing around the house it has short sleeves and washes like a dream i usually don't put them in the dryer though because i feel that they do shrink a little bit if you dry them i have the t-shirt paired with a pair of easy high-waisted shorts by bp i'm wearing them in black and the shorts are currently on sale in both countries there are three prints available. I really like them. They're lightweight. They're very comfortable. They have a four and a half inch inseam, an elastic waist, two front slant pockets, and they are machine washable. Again, I probably wouldn't put these in the dryer, even though it says that you can tumble dry them. So this is my usual around the house outfit. It's, you know, it's comfortable. I'm excited about this next outfit because it is very rare for me to buy white bottoms. Because typically white can make a person look heavier than what they are. I wanted to try these shorts and they are the Absolution High Waisted Scallop Ham Cut Off Denim Shorts. I was really pleasantly surprised that they fit me. Sometimes when you carry a little bit of extra weight in the stomach area and the hips, it's hard to get a pair of pants or a pair of shorts that will fit you properly. I really like these. They fit like a glove and actually I think that I could have sized down. I haven't worn them all day but I kind of have a feeling that if I do they might stretch out a bit. So I'm wondering like should I send them back and get a smaller size or do I stick with this size? I really don't know what to do. So for me the fit would be true to size. Follow their sizing chart. Excellent excellent quality. They're not a thin material. They're really nice and they have slimming panels sewn into them so they're very flattering. They aren't see-through. And just a tip, if you're wearing white bottoms, don't wear white underwear. You should always try and match your underwear to your skin tone. So for me, that would be a nude color. White underwear actually will show. You think that it wouldn't, but it does. They have a zip button front closure, two front pockets and two back pockets. These shorts have a five inch inseam. I think they're very flattering when you have short legs. My inseam is 27 inches so I have very short legs compared to my torso. These are a flattering cut I find for my legs. Whenever you're petite and you have a bigger belly, normally your legs are slimmer or you have good legs and I find that this length of short really uh, works well for me. I find that if I go much longer in a short that sometimes it can kind of cut my leg off in a weird area and it kind of look like my legs are really really short. In all the outfits that I'm showing you today I'm wearing the exact same sandal and I went with a, a kind of a nude looking sandal. It's a Tory Burch Miller sandal and I just find that it helps to elongate the leg. That's another trick. I feel that if I would have went with a dark sandal, especially with the white shorts, and probably made my legs look a little stumpy. So I just thought that it was flattering to go with the nude sandal. I have never paid $89 for a pair of shorts and I thought that this was a lot of money. I have to tell you I feel that they are worth the money. I normally like to get my clothes on sale but this was full price and I think that I will keep them because they've really impressed me. 
I think I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of them. And I feel that they're good quality, that they can be worn casually, but I can also see myself dressing them up. In this outfit, I'm also wearing the pink top that I have on. And I was kind of on the fence about this top because I really like the color, but I just wasn't sure about the sleeves. It has a fluttering ruffle sleeve. This top is by Castlon. I'm wearing it in XXL. I really like the color, but I'm just not sure about the sleeves. They're called fluttering ruffle sleeves. It's a v-neck and the top is 100% cotton. What do you think? Do you think that I should keep it? I probably will being that I'm wearing it in this video. I picked this because I thought that the sleeves were just a little more dressy than what I normally wear. It is cute. I love that it has a v-neck. You just have to be careful with this top because if you wear it pulled out, it can look kind of boxy, which makes me look bigger. But I'm gonna tuck in the front and by doing that, it's gonna help give me a bit of a waistline. Top itself is 69 Canadian or 59 US. In the US, you have a ton of color choices. Sadly, in Canada, we're stuck with pink or white, but they had some really pretty uh, different colors when I looked yesterday. I say that it fits true to size, maybe even a little bit bigger. Um, I was wondering maybe I should have sized down in this top as well, but I feel if I would have sized down, it probably would have been a little bit tight. I don't know, Weight Watchers must be working for me because I'm starting to see that sizes that I normally would have worn are getting a little baggy on me, so that is great. And are you following my Weight Watchers 50 pound weight loss journey? If you aren't, I will put a link to the playlist in the description box. We have a nice group of ladies that are doing this 50 pound weight loss journey with me. We're also doing daily walking challenges. So I'm thinking that my walking and following Weight Watchers must be doing something for me. But anyways, let's get back to the outfit. And I think that the pink top paired with the white shorts really pops. And again, with the nude sandal, uh, it's gonna be probably one of my favorite outfits for the summer. In this next outfit, I am still wearing the Wit and Wisdom white denim shorts, but I have paired it with a Dobby print flutter sleeve top by Caslon. I'm wearing it in the size 2X. It's available in three prints. This top, I would say, is true to size, but it's a more snug fit. So if you don't like your tops feeling a little snug, I'd probably go up a size. I like that it has gathered shoulders and fluttery sleeves. It's 100% rayon and it says to hand wash and hang to dry. I never hand wash my clothes. I will put them in the washing machine on the hand wash cycle, but I don't hand wash them. Some of you have asked me about like prints when you have an apple body shape. I just wanna show you, you can see how delicate the print is on this top. Whenever I say get a delicate print, that's what I mean. Because when you have a big belly, if you wear a print like this, it kind of confuses the eye and then the eye isn't focusing like right where your big belly is. Whereas if you were wearing like a top with like, you know, say large leaves on it or something, and there's only a few scattered here and there, I don't find that as flattering. So whenever I say get like a printed top, this is what I'm talking about is something that like with tiny little flowers or speckles or dots or whatever, as long as it's a tiny print. And the thing that I like about this, the back is navy, so it's dark, which is always your friend when you have a big belly, but then it has like light blue and white in it. So it kind of makes a contrast. So I find those are really flattering tops whenever you're trying to camouflage a big belly. The last item that I have to share with you is a fail. They're linen shorts by Caslon. They're crafted from lightweight linen and they have a drawstring waist. First of all, I didn't like them. They were just way too big. And I followed the sizing chart. I would definitely have to go down a size or even like a size and a half, which they don't make, but they just weren't flattering at all. and it, I thought, well, maybe should I order a smaller size? They have this really strange waistband and sometimes when you get a drawstring waisted pants, I don't know what you call the thing inside at the waistband. I think it's like an elastic, but after a few washes, it kind of gets all like twisted together and then it just never sits flat or sits right. And I just had a feeling that's what those shorts were gonna do and they weren't cheap. They were like $59. Canadian 49 US. I just felt like, I don't know, I just wasn't gonna get my money's worth out of them. So I did send them back. 
So this was like a small haul. I didn't want to spend a lot of money because I know the anniversary sale is coming up in the next month or so. I just wanted to see for sizing and for quality if a petite plus size woman can shop at Nordstrom. And obviously we can because I got what, two pair of shorts and three tops that I'm keeping and I'm happy with. I noticed that Nordstrom in the US really does a great job of carrying a lot of clothes for petite women. In Canada, not so much. The same for the bigger sizes. If you need like an XXL, a lot of the clothes aren't available in those sizing in Canada and I'm not sure why. I have emailed Nordstrom and said, you know, hey, like you're missing out on a whole market here in Canada. Like, why can't we have the same prints, the same clothes? in petite and plus size as they do in the US. They never got back to me. Maybe if enough of us email them and say, hey, uh, petite women like to shop too, maybe they would carry more petite sizes. I don't know. Hope that you enjoyed this little haul from Nordstrom. I have a lot of fashion videos planned and in the works for the summer. And I just want to say, you don't have to be a larger lady to be considered an apple body shape. You could be a size four and still be an apple body. The apple body or round body shape simply means when I put weight on, it immediately goes to my stomach. Of course, I put weight on everywhere else as well, but my problem area is the belly. So you can be like a small person, you can be a large person, we can all share and be an apple body shape. So that's just something I wanted to put out there because I've had a few questions about that. So I hope that you enjoyed my video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you here. I do a lot of fashion videos for petite women and women with big bellies. I like to show some tips and tricks on how to camouflage the belly. And I also do makeup and skincare videos. I'm also on a 50 pound weight loss journey following Weight Watchers online. And I'm documenting that here as well. So I will put some of those videos in the description box below. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. Have a great day. Bye.